good YouTube, number 92 here, back again once again today people, today we are here for week 2 of uh, Smackdown, for our Smackdown vs Raw, General Manager Mode, Smackdown vs Raw 2007, General Manager Mode versus I am your General Manager of Smackdown, and we are joined by the GM of Monday Night Raw, Moneybags Mo. Hey, how's it going everybody? So this past week on Monday Night Raw, Mo put on uh, one hell of uh, of a show with a couple of sleeper matches uh, mm -hmm. that you should definitely check out. You know, I'm not, I'm not, no, this is a versus, but you know, it's only week two. SmackDown General Manager, I definitely want to, you know, put, show some spotlight on Raw. Last week, the Lita Leggings came out on SmackDown. You know, it do, it do, it do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, last week on SmackDown as well. Uh, we had one hell of a main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. We saw Kurt Angle, Undertaker, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels all compete inside four walls of steel. Uh, Undertaker, of course, walking out, showing you why he is the dead man himself. Uh, and tonight, we have all four of those competitors again in the main event. Undertaker teaming with Kurt Angle against DX, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels. Tensions are running high here tonight, of course, because... Kurt Angle was also close to snagging that belt. Triple H making many attempts to, to get out as well. And Shawn Michaels being the wily, crafty veteran he is. Last week, we also had uh, the, their newest signee to SmackDown, Big Show, actually attack Gregory Helms and cost him a shot at the Cruiserweight Championship. So tonight, we see the in-ring debut of Big Show to kick things off as uh, Rey Mysterio actually is going to uh, stand up for his friend, Gregory Helms. Gregory Helms, of course, unable to compete tonight, uh, suffering a shattered forearm and three broken ribs at the hands of Big Show last night, choke slamming him multiple times against the concrete uh, out back. So let's see if Rey Mysterio can uh, stand up for his friend as we have the in ring debut of the world's largest athlete, The Big Show. Look at my boy. He's so muscular. What the heck? Look at that model. I mean, at one point he was built <laughs> like this. Oh, shit. Rey Mysterio, of course, last week came dangerously close to becoming the Cruiserweight Champion. Uh, Chavo Guerrero, of course, not scheduled to appear tonight uh, after suffering a fall off of the top of the ladder to the outside of the ring. He is currently resting backstage with that Cruiserweight Championship around his waist. But I think it's very honorable of Rey Mysterio to stand up for his friend Gregory Helms. You know, even though he was prepared to compete against him last week, he is standing up for his friend and taking on the Big Show here tonight. This was actually not who I had Big Show scheduled to debut against. Um, you know, I'm not really with the Super Heavyweight versus Cruiserweight uh, scheme stick or anything, but Ray insisted. He, uh, I guess he's uh, got some nobility he... sticking up for the Cruiserweight division here against the rest of the locker room. Um, but I don't know. After that message Big Show sent last week, I I would not voluntarily get in the ring with this man. My boy is the cruiserweight bully. We're gonna you're you know you know they watch this show, Mo. They, he's gonna hear you say that. He's not signed to me. I got bodyguards. Yo, Batista, what's up, buddy? I think Batista might get flattened, Mo. Maybe when SummerSlam comes around, you can put your money where your mouth is, Mo. Maybe, just maybe. Hmm. SummerSlam still a ways off, but I mean, if you, if you want to talk shit, Mo, you know we have some cross promotional matches coming up. You can go ahead and uh, put your champion up against Big Show here. Oh, whoa, I mean, whoa, whoa! No. You saw, you saw what Big Show did to Gregory Helms last week. That could be Batista come SummerSlam. Uh, yeah, no. Hmm. I'm good. Okay, okay. I got Batista. I got a. Uh, I got a few others. I'm just. I'm, uh, I'm just saying. Well, Big Show now finally getting some offense in. Rey Mysterio running around. Uh, Big Show swatting him like a fly right now. Actually swatting him like a fly. That's got to hurt twice as bad for uh, someone of Rey's stature. Those hands from the Big Show chopping down like frying pans onto his chest here. Big Show just intimidating Rey here. Rey can't do anything. What's going on? My goodness. Again, this is not, as your general manager, this is not who I had Big Show debuting against this week. Uh, but Ray insisted. As we see a pin attempt on the Big Show, Ray actually just barely able to, to get those legs up. Two. Big Show wow. asserting his dominance here with a huge clothesline and a huge Why leg drop. Why was this allowed? Hey, Ray asked for the matchup. 
He wanted to defend Gregory Helms' honor. He wanted to uh, defend. I, I think there's more than just Gregory Helms' honor in this situation. I think it's the entire Cruiserweight division as a whole. But is that necessarily Ray's responsibility, or should the Cruiserweight champion Chavo be the one to do that? Hmm. Oh! Huge splash and a huge chop into the corner. Hey, I, I'm just saying there's a reason that I signed the Big Show. There's a reason that I signed the Big Show. Look at him go. Asserting this absolute dominance. Drop toe hold to the Big Show, cutting the big man down. Do you see Mo Ray making any sort of offense in this uh, matchup? Nope. That matters. He's, it's just, it's, it's just, it's, it's a game over. I don't know why he did this. This is an idiot. This is a, this is, is a bronze this, going up against a GM, dude. Is this, is this what's best for business? I mean, Big Show is making names. All right, we'll say. Is making them look mighty strong. I mean, Vince does like them big boys. He says yeah. those midgets in the cruiserweights don't matter. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I think Ray's actually putting up quite a bit of offense uh, tonight. You got to keep in mind, last week we saw Kane go up against the Mexicals. And the Mexicals actually stuck out a victory, albeit brass knuckle assisted. Big show. Terrorizing Ray Mysterio. Just, just, just put him out. Put him out of his misery, dude. What's it's got to be a ten-foot drop. Oh, Big Show just having his way with Ray at this point. Literally having his way with Ray. At this he can't point. escape. He can't escape. He's stuck. Literally just it? having his way with Ray Mysterio at this point. Oh, Big Show God. building up a finisher, using barely any stamina as well. This is in fact a dominant in-ring debut for the world's largest athlete. Big Show with a straight punch to the ribs, working on that torso. Making sure that when that choke slam lands, it does the most. Ray with the unique offense, you gotta have some sort of tricks up your bag to, to cut down a man of the size of the big show. As we see Ray attempting, keyword here, attempting to do something. Big show feeling no effects of this matchup so far. Tossing. Literally him over. giving Ray. No chances. And now I think that's it, okay. ladies and gentlemen. That's it. I think that's it's the it. Game. Big show hoisting Ray ten feet it's in the over. air. I think this is this is it. When that's I talk a about a, a message sent to the locker room last week and an incredibly dominant debut this week from the big show. <laughs> Helms, if you like pause the video and just look at Helms' face, like everybody needs to do that right now. Just pause and look at Helms' face. <laughs> <laughs> Helms is sitting on the side of the ring, ribs wrapped in tape, forearms shattered. He was shook, dude. He is shook, and I think we're all shook after watching that. He was so shook, he didn't even run to the ring. He just didn't even give a shit. He said, no, fuck that, dude. <laughs> uh, you gotta think, Helms has gotta want to get his hands on Big Show once his uh, injuries heal up here soon enough. Why would you do that? You're gonna lose. I mean, if you were attacked backstage, I think wouldn't yeah, you want some I'd retribution? I count my blessings and realize Big Show will beat my ass. I'm good. Hmm. What a very dominant in-ring debut. Perhaps next week we'll see Big Show's actual uh, starting match as well. Uh, but like I said, there's a reason I signed the Big Show, and he's definitely proving it right here, right now. Again, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have Undertaker, your World Heavyweight Champion Undertaker, teaming with Kurt Angle against Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Uh, together as DX uh, but right now we have a rematch from last week last week we saw the newly crowned hardcore United States Championship match as Chris Benoit walked out with the upset some might say against Rob Van Dam the hardcore legend this week we're gonna see them go toe-to-toe -to -toe again no hardcore rules the belt is not on the line uh, literally strictly just to see if Rob Van Dam can stay in contention for this title or Chris Benoit actually has his number we'll see We'll see, we'll see. What are t-shirt sales looking like for our new Hardcore US Champion? Uh, they actually sold a good 50, 50 for Chris Benoit. I mean, it's a Hardcore title, US Hardcore title. I mean, it's a new title. It's a lot of hype behind it. Hmm, brand new title. See, this innovation is is the name of the game here on, on Friday Night Smackdown, you guys. You know, I understand Monday Night Raw has these co-main events with the women's division, but... We've not only taken a, a, a trusty 
a title that you've known for years, we've added a new twist to it. So every time the U.S. title is on the line, it will have some sort of hardcore stipulation to go with it. And you can only see that on Friday Night SmackDown. I mean, hey, got me. You got me there. As Rob Van Dam, the fan favorite, makes his way down to the ring. Battle Creek, Michigan. Who goes to Battle Creek, Michigan? Who goes to Michigan? <laughs> Who goes to Michigan? I can see my Rob got out of there. The crowd is loving him, though. Chanting his Rob Van Dam cheer. You got to think Rob Van Dam's got to want some sort of retribution after last week. He's known for his hardcore tactics, an ECW legend himself. How did he not win last week's matchup? That's what I want to know. How did he Chris not win? Chris Benoit is the rabid Wolverine. Hmm. hmm. He does what he wants and doesn't care. Hmm. That's I, not I for definitely aggression. My He's lost I, some teeth. From my side of things, I thought RVD was going to walk out last week with the title, but hey, you never know. You never know. Chris Benoit did, in fact, attempt to go for quite a few submission holds last week. Chris Let's Benoit, see. former world heavyweight title holder. So, I mean, hey, maybe that's it. I mean, Rob Van Dam, former ECW and WWE champion as well. Yeah, but uh, he lost that title. Smoking too much of that <laughs> devil's grass. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, 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 here on SmackDown, we don't like to talk about that, okay? Positive <laughs> vibes, okay? Positive <laughs> vibes. Rob Van Dam's all about those positive vibes as uh, well. Okay? Very positive. Very positive. Rob Van Dam reversing Chris Benoit's attempt. What is this? A unique armbar takedown. Rope break, of course, there. Rob Van Dam releasing that hold because of the rope break. I think uh, it, it'll it'll say volumes. Oh, my goodness. Rob Van, Rob Van Dam being German suplex there. A victory tonight for Rob Van Dam will speak volumes across the locker room and potentially keep him in contention for this hardcore U.S. championship. Rob Van Dam needs to keep this momentum and this offense going if he wants to pick up a W here tonight. <clears throat> I mean, I'm peeping right now. I'm going for Benoit here. You, you like you like what you see from Benoit on the ring here? Yeah. Maybe we can uh, discuss a trade, maybe, for Batista? Uh, uh, Perhaps. Okay. Whoa, 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 Benoit whoa, whoa. for Batista, the Bs? Yeah. Uh, we can trade. Not. I mean, hey, don't let's... get me wrong. I'm proud of my hardcore U.S. champion, but, I mean, Batista's looking mighty powerful over here. Oh, my God. Speaking of power, Benoit with that release German suplex on Rob Van Dam. Not giving him a moment to breathe. But, yeah, maybe we can do a Benoit for Batista? Yeah, no? Uh, let's not. Oh, let's not. Let's let's not. Okay, if you say so. Well, Benoit for Bobby Lashley, maybe. Benoit for Bobby Lashley. Oh, I don't know about all that. Benoit with the triple vertical suplex, is known as the Three Amigos. RVD finally feeling the fatigue of this matchup. Benoit almost to that first submission. Submission. Whoa, that first uh, finisher of the night. I think both these competitors need to keep their eye on a uh, big show that just left the ring. After seeing what he did last week and what he did tonight to Rey Mysterio, I think the whole locker room needs to keep their eyes on him. This oh drop my kick, God. He's running just, drop he's, kick into the he's corner. Alpha hang him, literally. My goodness, I don't know. I, I there's, there's a spot. I, I have a soft spot for an underdog, and I can't help but feel like Rob Van Dam might. Be able to pull it out this week. Missing that rolling thunder. Straight right hand punishing him for missing that rolling thunder. RVD's got a lot of end lag on that maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of end lag on that maneuver. Rob Van Dam now initiating the grapple. Nope. Nope. No. <laughs> Boy. I really want RVD to mount some offense here, dog. Come on, you gotta, you gotta, RVD, you gotta. Come on, dog. I mean, he escaped right away. There's that. You gotta. Here we go, finally. RVD trying his hardest to keep Benoit from building up that finisher. Into that slide One, pin. Two. I thought for sure yeah. RVD was gonna walk away with that. No way. No way? What do you mean? No way. Look at this offense. Benoit finally feeling the fatigue of this matchup. 
I'm just happy RVD's finally building some momentum. Reversing that into a swinging Ooh, neck breaker. Okay, both on equal terms now. Both equally close to their finishers. Okay. What's going on? Interestingly enough, both of them have these finishers off the top rope. Benoit now hoisting RVD up. Will we see a fallaway slam to the outside? No. RVD really feeling the effects of this matchup now as Benoit has a finisher built up and the Crippler oh, Crossface cross is face. applied. That's will it. we see? Is this a rope break? Can RVD use those educated feet? Or will oh we see a tap out God. here tonight? Benoit wrenching is... back. That is got to Not hurt. enough. Not enough to secure the victory here tonight. But he did play that a bit for the long game because RVD is hurt in more ways, more ways than one now. RVD desperately needs to get on his feet and mount some sort of offense. Oh no. Nope. Chris Benoit is the submission specialist here. Oh my god. He's he trying to make him tap. He's legitimately trying to make him tap. Can't fault him for that. Benoit is close to another finisher. RVD finally, finally Benoit mounting some makes sort of Cena offense. Tap. Benoit makes it. I mean, we don't want to talk about that now. Didn't he not? I think he did. I thought it was Kurt Angle. It was Kurt Angle and Benoit, I think. Hmm. Maybe it was Mark Ginger. Ah! Uh, Heidenreich. Ah! Uh, Max Moon. Okay, okay, okay. What's going on? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Another What's release. Another release German suplex from Benoit to RVD here. And the chops just keeping RVD from gaining any sort of momentum towards that finisher. Ringing the neck there. Hmm. Hmm. RVD's t-shirt sales might be plummeting right now. Yeah. We did check uh, the sales and we took a survey and most people who buy his shit Jesus are... Uh... <laughs> you wanted some educated feet. RVD he just did the, the fuck damn out of thing. He, he just kicked the, kicked the, the out of shit out of Chris Benoit, dog. RVD Still now more. very close to a finisher of his own. If he can keep this momentum up, this match could go either way. Uh oh. RVD taking a moment, controlling the pace up of this, the pace up, the, the pace of this matchup. Using those feet again. Benoit reversing that attempt. RVD, you gotta do something, Doug. I'm, I'm trying to work with you here. I'm trying to work with you here. Yeah. I want to get you. I want to keep you in this title scene. But you know, we're, we're only week two into the show, and you got, you gotta show me something more, Doug. Keep using those feet. And here we go oh. to the top rope as top RVD rope. split like it moves oh on landing God. that going for the pin. Could this be it? One, One two. two. Oh, and no. a kick out. So close. So close to actually walking out. I RVD mean, he's coming needs back. To, he needs to keep this momentum up. Benoit right out of the corner. RVD needs, needs to, to keep take this, this home momentum now. up. Benoit needs to make quick work of this matchup. RVD the same. Benoit just going straight for a pin off a punch to the back of the head. Is RVD okay? RVD nope. kicking out right away. Very odd say. choice. And he's going on the top rope. Benoit risking it all on the top rope. Elbow. Benoit landing Bam. that finisher. RVD needs to do something now. In the middle of the ring. Nope. Reversing. Benoit now reversing. Reversing. Uh -oh. Hit him with that finisher, my dude. He saves Let's get it. it. He S, locks get it, it in. God's plan. Literally God's plan. What's going on? RVD, you were so close to a finisher, my dude. What's going on? What's going on? Is RVD going to tap here tonight to Chris Benoit? Will we see? He we just, just saw a submission out. victory. Oh, my goodness. You want to talk about alpha -ing. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It really do be like that. It really do be like that. Benoit proving his dominance yet again. Not just in a hardcore matchup, but making his number one contender tap out as well.
Will this be the last we see of RVD and Chris Benoit? Or is it time for a new number one contender to step up? Hmm. What, what are Benoit's t-shirt sales looking like right now, Mo? Oh, you sold 200. That's crazy for SmackDown. <laughs> only 200? <laughs> I mean, it took... I. That's only 200? That's a lot for one match, yeah. Only Our brand new christened US... Uh, hardcore US champion making his number one contender tap out only selling 200 shirts mm. Mm. Look, mm. Smackdown may have more viewers right now but it's just Raw is the flagship show so we won't now, last week on Monday Night Raw we did see Kane go up against uh, the Mexicals in a handicap match and everyone in the house thought Kane had the match in the bag uh, the Mexicals were a little eager to take on the matchup and for good reason, as we found out, they were able to knock out Kane and pick up the victory with a brass knuckles assisted win. This week, Kane has demanded a rematch. Oh! And here he comes to the ring now. This time, one on one with Super Crazy, the man that clocked him with those brass knuckles last week. But I know. So, in this one on one matchup mode, do you see it being in Kane's favor? Yes, 100%. I mean, Came about to what, blow his ass back. That's what everybody said last week. Kane was Kane himself was confident in that matchup. He got a little uh, a little carried away though. Hmm. Hmm. A little carried away. As the Mexicals make their way to the ring, no lawnmowers this time. Yeah, no lawnmowers this time. No, no, no lawnmowers this time. Will we see those brass knuckles come into play again? Hmm, thinking emoji, thinking emoji. I don't know, as your general manager, I can't stand to see something like that happen. If the brass knuckles show up again, I'm gonna have to take action against Super Crazy. I'm gonna have to, we, ha we only have fair and honest matchups here. After last week's mugging in the parking lot, I can't have this go on any longer. So let's have a clean and fair matchup, Nick Patrick. Make sure you keep an eye on this little Mexican right here. Wanna make sure nothing happens. As they exchange blows, I don't think that's in Super Crazy's favor. Uh, yeah, I think he's gonna lose. I'm gonna and be a honest low, with you. A low blow from Super Crazy. I'm gonna be honest Standing with you. Standing moonsault. I, mean, I don't know. My boy Isaac Yankum's got it. <laughs> I guess uh, they call him Super <laughs> Crazy for a reason. Now we have multiple low blows. Well, what's going on here, Kane? Now again, I'm not I'm not one to encourage super heavyweight cruiserweight matchups, but this is what them the, the wrestlers themselves are asked for. Now Kane easily tossing yeah. Super Crazy <laughs> out of the ring. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. That's looking like Ray He's gone. Uh, suplexing Chavo off the top of the ladder last week. It's about the same height, to be honest. We are less than a minute into this matchup, and we've already seen Crazy. It's now Kane going out to the outside of the ring. Chasing super crazy. I I think super crazy. We, he needs medical attention at this point. I Think this has become more than just a matchup for Kane and the Mexicals Psychosis getting involved as well Can the Mexicals have a fair and even matchup? Can they actually have a fair and even match psychosis is just gone dog <laughs> Where did he go? Where did he actually go? Super crazy with that jawbreaker now. My boy Kane needs to like stop throwing. I mean, like actually throw him, right? Like he did at first. Okay. Huge okay. shoulders. Kane needs to focus on super crazy. You're a big boy. Ring. Vince likes big boys. Come on, boy. What's going on? Now, super crazy reversing Kane's attempt. I don't know. We only run 205 lot because those sweaty idiots like it. Now, Super Crazy with a DDT. Sweaty idiots. Who are the sweaty idiots? Uh, what the internet likes to call, uh, Smarks. Smarks. Oh, okay. Yeah. The sweaty idiots that, uh, boo my fucking Roman Reigns. Who's your Roman Reigns? They boo my Roman Reigns. My Roman Reigns. Oh, oh. Those saying. sweaty idiots, you know, the, the 18 plus. We don't need those. We don't need those. It's all <laughs> about the kids that buy John Cena's merch and the teenagers yes. that buy Batista's merch. 
Yes, all we need is 18 below. I think we just need Kane to make quick work, emulate what his fellow big man Big Show did to Rey Mysterio earlier. Kane now forcing all right. Super crazy goodbye. Out. Go a huge power no. bomb. Yeah. Yo, goodbye. Landing a huge power <laughs> bomb. I think between that and getting tossed to the him. outside, that's just more than him. enough. Just pin him. Just pin him. He hit him in the fucking <laughs> huge hand to the mid region. What's going on here, Doug? <laughs> What's going on here, Doug? My <laughs> goodness, the destruction. Yeah, look at his whole entire body. It's all And a huge big boot as well. Kane very close to a finish. His maneuver. entire body is fatigued. Oh my god. Just go for a fucking tombstone. My is goodness. That a, is that his finisher? Kane does have tombstone as a finisher on here, but his primary finisher is the choke slam to hell. Oh yeah, yeah, choke slam, right, right, right. Kane absolutely manhandling super crazy right now. Picking him up again, hoisting him up again. No, Kane, not for a second time! Oh my god, dude, what's Super going crazy on? is broken in half. And some would say he deserves it after his actions last week with those brass knuckles. Kane now regaining his momentum. I think with this choke slam stored just now, if Super Crazy can make it to his feet, I think that might be it for the matchup. Kane now going to the outside, Super Crazy sliding in. It's a smart tactic from the smaller competitor. Tire out the big man. He tires out more easily. And now Super Crazy is able to get some sort of offense in. Another standing moonsault. I don't know. I think the... Oh my god. I think the momentum doesn't matter at this point. I think it's all over. Kane not even... Not even going for the choke slam. Plenty of opportunities there. Uh oh. Crazy now going nope. for a pin. One, two, oh, and a kick out. Oh my god. Almost picking up a 2 0 victory over Kane here. I mean, you have a finisher, Kane. All you gotta do, hit the moneymaker, alright? Sell some shirts, move on in life. Hit that moneymaker before Crazy does. Because we saw those brass knuckles come into play. Super Crazy now not breaking the hold in the corner here after the rope break. You can hear wow. Kane choking right now. Super Crazy choosing not to regain that much stamina. Impressive, unique offense. Crazy almost has a finisher built up. Kane needs to stop playing around and put this one away. Or he is about to be 0-2 against the Mexicals. Wow. Super crazy now using the ring to assist himself. Kane actually feeling the effects of this matchup. Will we see Super Crazy take another victory over Kane? <laughs> Super Look at crazy him. now dead. dead in the ring. <laughs> Kane dead. just going no for finisher. the finisher. No finisher. <laughs> 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 Kane just tossing Super Crazy he off put of him. him. Out. He put him out of his misery, dude. Kane just tossing Super Crazy off of him in the corner there. Uh, interestingly enough, all right. Sure. Sure. Well, at this point, surprisingly enough, one wouldn't even believe that the record between these two are, is one and one. Psychosis should be put on notice at this point because you got to think Kane's going to want some revenge, some retribution against him as well. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, SmackDown hosts the Cruiserweight division, but we're also home to many giants. Many, many giants here. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Interesting indeed. I, I still can't believe that Kane and the Mexicals schools are one and one at this point. Well, speaking of being one and one, the Golden Hair Warriors have a chance to pick up a Victory against Brand New Day, the new iteration of Brand New Day tonight. Last week, we saw Brand New Day walk out of the inaugural SmackDown with the WWE Tag Team Championships. Uh, but tonight, however, our matchup is a little bit different. We have the younger members of each team going against each other with their mentors accompanying them to the ring. 
this definitely has number one contendership implications behind it as we have Ken Kennedy making his way to the ring with Ric Flair representing the Golden Hair Warriors. Mr. Kennedy. And of course, opposite of him in the ring, we'll have Shelton Benjamin making his way down to the ring with Booker T uh, in his corner. Booker T, Ric Flair, of course, did have a quite a back and forth last week in the ring. But it'll be interesting to see what these youngsters can do. From Orangeburg, South Carolina. So, uh, do, do you see these uh, champions selling more t-shirts, or uh, or is it still the Golden Hair Warriors? I... Honestly? If I want to look at these two, like, like these two, like, who's going to win? I'm thinking my boy Shelton's going to get it. But who's selling more t-shirts, Mr. Moneybags Mo? You said it last week. You said the reason why. What was that? <laughs> and what was that? I, I don't want to finish it. You got to let us know, Mo. I this, can't. This is I, a business. You got to let us know. Oh, I can't. There's there's business that you talk about and business you don't talk about. But this is... We're talking about t-shirts. I'm sales. not trying to You're get... You're never one to shy away from t-shirt sales, Mo. I, there is... There's definitely some... Uh, some things that take into account as to what sells shirts, who we put on. Wow, this sounds really bad, and it kind of hits hard. Hits hard a little bit. I'm gonna stop. Uh, buy your uh, Lita leggings today. <clears throat> uh. Hello. Buy your Lita leggings today. Yeah. I don't think so, Mo. What? What's I don't think on? so, Bo. I think what Mo's actually saying is the Golden Hair Warriors are selling more shirts right now because they're white. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, I have a and we don't have shirts. that on Friday Night SmackDown. I have ten lawyers. I am not Head a Head to the merch booth now and pick up your brand new day merchandise. Hey, I'm completely in in support of brand new day. I can't believe Mo would would <clears throat> side with the Golden Hair Warriors simply because I'm not. They I'm, make not I'm not. I'm not. Because they're I'm not. White. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I would like to to broaden the audience. I there's a lot of uh, money to be made off the urban audience. Is what you're saying? I, I didn't say. That's anything. what you're saying here. Uh, uh, How can you turn this rivalry, this matchup, into a race war, Mo? I. Uh, uh, he's gonna. He's he's holding him in. It's uh. Wow. Shelton. The hold's been broken. The hold's been broken. They are oh, champions look. for a reason. Look at that. Fantastic. New topic. Good job. And you think they don't deserve to be champions because they're black? I, oh my. Is that what I'm saying? Is that what I'm hearing from you right now? We have the new day. What are you talking about? The brand new day. This is the new iteration of the brand new day. And we actually have the brand new day. Except Mo, Moneybags Mo over here had to draft Bobby Lashley. And hey, how can I say that when my IC... I can't, I can't Your IC it. champion, you're only, he's only champion because he makes you money. <laughs> he only, he's only your champion because he makes you money. What? If what you had stuff? your way, if you had your preference, you and Vincent Kennedy McMahon, you'd have that title on John Cena, not the ethnic Batista. You'd have that title on Finley, not the ethnic Bobby Lashley. <laughs> I mean, look at your tag champions. They're white. <laughs> I'm sure you want that women's championship on Trish Stratus as well, too, don't you? Um. <laughs> what? Oh, this is too real. What's going we're, on? We're two and a half minutes in this matchup, and now Shelton Benjamin reversing <laughs> Mr. Kennedy's attempt. Kennedy reversing Shelton Benjamin as well. Kennedy, of course, is the only one feeling the effects of this matchup, with Shelton so very close to a finisher. I'm sure some of you watching at home... What a knee! God damn! Some of you watching at home want uh, Kennedy to finish off Shelton Benjamin here tonight. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Shelton, of course, one hit away from a finishing maneuver. I know some of you at home, and potentially the Raw General Manager, don't want to see Brand New Day as tag champions. But that's up to them. They're in the ring. They're competing. And uh, as your SmackDown general manager, at SmackDown is the land of opportunity. Everyone has a, f a fair chance, free chance to. Uh, 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 I'm an equal. Make a name for themselves. I'm a, I'm a great GM as well. You know, I'm a great GM. 
Um, I put on two fantastic shows, and I have been and in the And T-Bone Suplex out of the oh. corner. I don't mean to cut you off there. We have a road break, as you were saying, Mo. I'm a great GM. I've been in the business for about two weeks now, and I've done a lot of good work. Mr. Kennedy kicking out after a count of one. I think we need to see another T-Bone Suplex and a bit more offense from Shelton Benjamin here to pick up this win. Ross sold more shirts. That's all I got to say. That's all that matters. I think uh, after last week, uh, Kennedy with a follow-up oh slam to Shelton Benjamin God. outside the ring. Gone. Now he's outside the ring there next to Kennedy's mentor, Ric Flair. Impressive display from Ken Kennedy. I think uh, you actually read the numbers off last week, Mo, and I think SmackDown actually sold more shirts in our main event alone than Raw did across the entire show. Uh, you want to run those numbers back? Because according to you, uh, we I sold four thousand shirts in the main event. I don't know. See that 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 I can't I can't help but like that. That's just the truth. It, it is. But I'm saying overall, our superstars, but ratio wise, we've sold. Better shirts on ratio in comparison to to SmackDown. SmackDown sold on their on their lower card. They haven't really sold that much, but their their main eventers have sold a lot, and I can't do anything about that. <laughs> Sheldon is of course so dangerously close to yet another finisher. Can we see a T-bone suplex out of the corner again with a huge splash into the corner there on Kennedy? I just like to point out though that SmackDown superstars are all from the Attitude Era. Bam. Uh, I think we're watching two superstars right now. Uh, all of your main eventers, all your top, all of your top players are all from the Attitude Era. They're gonna, they're, they're, they have some rust. All right, we're bringing up new talent. New talent. I see new talent in the ring right now, being very impressive, showing us why they deserve to be WWE Tag Team Champions, no matter the color of their skin. We have Delete Chon, we have Mick Foley, we have Randy Orton, Edge. Come on. We on. have Brand New Day. Brand new day in the ring right now. Look at him go. Sheldon Benjamin one hit away from another finisher. Can we see it here? And a T-Bone suplex locked oh. into the middle of the ring. Ken Kennedy's got to be feeling that one. One, two, three. Three. and a three that count. That was clean. That was clean. Very clean indeed. As you can see, there's a reason why Brand New Day is our WWE Tag Team WWE Free Tag Team Champions. My bad. I apologize. I apologize for the marketing error there. That's gonna cost us some T-shirts, but it's okay. We'll bounce. We'll bounce back. We'll bounce back. Uh, we actually, yeah, we actually got fine. Well, you did. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, very impressive display. I think next week uh, we might need to get Booker T and Ric Flair in the ring here. Uh, maybe, perhaps, Ric Flair can show Ken Kennedy how it's done and pick up a W against Brand New Day. Possibly even a tap out victory. We'll see. Ric Flair is a 16-time champion, but Booker T is a five-time, 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 five-time. So maybe we'll see. Congrats to uh, Shelton Benjamin for picking up the win here tonight as well. Uh, but I believe I'm getting word right now that backstage, uh, apparently there is some commotion going on. Uh, we, we're, we're heading back there right now. We're heading back there right now. Apparently, oh. uh, our the newest uh, signee, Big Show, is out of control yet again. This time, ladies and gentlemen, it would appear as if Chavo Guerrero, who's had the night off, who's had the night off tonight, your Cruiserweight Champion, Chavo Guerrero, who's had the night off, is apparently uh, in, a, in a scuffle with Big Show. Big Show, big boot to Chavo Guerrero All right. yet again. I, as, your, as your GM, I can't allow this. I, there, there will be some sort of reprimand. Some sort of action taken next week uh, towards Big Show. Big Show is our new signee, and I'm incredibly proud of him, but he has to know the, the, the type of uh, uh, behavior that is allowed or is expected of a SmackDown, a blue brand superstar. This is some shit you see over on Raw, not on Friday Night SmackDown. I, I, for all of you guys watching whoa, right now, whoa, I apologize. Whoa, 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 I apologize whoa, whoa. on behalf of the Big Show. I, 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 we're trying to get security back there right now to, to handle this, to handle this. But Big Show appears to be out of control right now. Chavo attempting to fight back. Big Show having none of that. See, that was a metaphor just now. SmackDown was Big Show. Raw was Chavo Guerrero. <laughs> As Big Show, SmackDown flattens Raw. And, hey, I'm just... Uh, Mo, Moneybags Mo is all about the numbers. I'm looking at the ratings right now. And from what I see, this is... this is Everyone has, has stopped watching... WCW Friday Night Nitro and is currently watching Friday Night Smackdown to see this 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 backstage brawl go down Friday Night Nitro what the f 
<laughs> As you mean Big Thursday Show, Night Thunder, manhandling a hey, SmackDown was on Thursday night. Manhandling Chavo Guerrero. This is very akin to uh, Gregory Helms last week. I, I gotta I gotta wonder. I'll, I'll I'll have words with Big Show between now and next week. Why is he targeting the cruiserweight division like this? What's going on? Last week, Gregory Helms. This week in his debut match, Rey Mysterio. And now the Cruiserweight Champion. He's working his way up the card. Literally sending a message to the entire locker room. He wants to make his self known. His self known. He's putting he's putting himself out there. He's going to murder this man. He's stepping on Chavo. Chavo, he's got, Chavo's got to get out of there. I still don't understand why security isn't back here right now. Stopping this from happening. I, I don't understand. Big Show now intimidating the entire locker room, stepping on Chavo for a third time. My goodness, this is even more savage than last week's beatdown. Big Show stepping on him again. All right, Big Show. Damn. Jesus Christ, stop. What the hell? <laughs> it's done, dude. It's over. Chavo I don't, finally I, stirring. He should just run away. Chavo's got to be in a bad way. I gave him the night off tonight after falling off the top of the ladder last week. He's got to be feeling the effects of this ladder match from last week right now. Every time Big Show slams him against an object, he's got to be reeling, feeling the effects of falling off that ladder time and time again. I, I don't know what to say. I, I can't say anything other than I, I apologize. As your SmackDown general manager, I apologize for, for our superstars being out of control like this. Sometimes it really do be like that, Doug. And now Big Show... Oh, this nope, has to be it. flashbacks for Chavo it. from falling off that ladder last week. How is he not... All Big right. Show's not done with Chavo Guerrero here. Not done with Chavo Guerrero here. It took two choke slams last week to knock out Gregory Helms. Now it appears as if Big Show throwing Chavo into that car. Someone needs to stop him! He's gonna break Chavo's ribs. Our new Cruiserweight Champion is currently being attacked backstage right now. My goodness. The lid of that truck, the, the lid, the hood of that truck slammed down across Chavo's back time and time again. And it's not being slammed down by just any man. That's the world's largest athlete. The newest signing to Friday Night Smackdown. The Big Show. <laughs> I mean, hey, it sounds like you're kind of advertising this. I mean, hey, there's a silver lining in everything. The security still is not back here yet. There's nothing I can do physically right now to get back there. This is just the live security camera footage that we have. This seems to be a planned, premeditated attack on the Cruiserweight Champion, Chavo Guerrero, as he was leaving the building. My goodness, can we please get security back there to stop, to stop this, a second choke slam now. Can we please get security back here? Chavo's still putting up a fight, still fighting back. I mean, hey, there's a reason he's our Cruiserweight Champion, I guess you could say that much. I mean, do you know any other man that could fall 20 feet off a ladder to the outside of the ring last week, choke slam twice onto the concrete this week, and still be putting up a fight? Uh, I mean, you're right. You got me there. You got me there. <laughs> Big Show just slapped the shit out of Chavo. <laughs> it's, I'm, I just, I don't, look, the fact that you're, look, I mean. The fact that I'm what? I'm what? I didn't condone this, Mo. It sounds like, I mean, you, uh, look, I know, man, uh, I'm a man of business. I, I myself would be like, this motherfucker is beating everybody. Everybody buy his shirt. Are you saying everyone should go to the WWFreeShop.com right now and pick up the Big Show's new shirt just released? Yeah, just released right now as of this uh, parking attack. That's crazy. Imagine now, somebody profiting third, off of this. A third chokeslam lined up. Oh, my goodness. Security finally back here now, pulling the Big Show off the entire locker room, making their way back here to pull the Big Show off of the Cruiserweight Champion, Chavo Guerrero. We need to get to the bottom of this and know why Big Show is doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize again uh, for this happening on Friday Night SmackDown. Uh, now, I do believe it is time for our main event. We promise you all one hell of a main event. The World Heavyweight Champion Undertaker teaming with Kurt Angle against D-Generation X. 
insane what's happening with the big show backstage right now insane absolutely insane mo can we can we can you please get the, the viewers mind off of what just happened give us the t-shirt sales for the main event tonight so far already oh well this one is not as big uh oh whoa, whoa. all right uh it just spiked immediately at the start three thousand each whoa three thousand each look at undertaker actually five thousand for the champion Wow, five thousand of the champion, weighing in at three hundred five pounds. Your world heavyweight champion, the Undertaker, making his way to the ring. This man alone fought tooth and nail, literally resurrected himself from the dead to climb out of that cage last week. Kurt Angle coming oh so close, oh so close to stopping it from happening. You gotta think there might be some animosity between these two teammates here tonight. Having to work together at the top of the Generation X. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Thinking Kurt. about it, you know Triple H and Shawn Michaels have experience. They have history teaming together. Do you think they automatically have the advantage in a matchup like this? Yes, they've worked so well together and they both want to just beat the champion and laugh about it. Hmm. This is Kurt. 2006 DX though, so I don't know. Wait, you're gonna induct Hornswoggle as a member next? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is not not this is not 90s DX. Hmm. Well, I changed. No, I, I guess I didn't. All right. I was gonna say I changed the Mexicans to appear together, but maybe I guess the settings didn't save for Triple H and Shawn Michaels to come out together as DX. I thought oh. I did. That's one of the reasons I booked this match tonight. But hey, you know, maybe, maybe. Actually, no, I think I changed it. I don't, I don't think they do come out together because I wanted them to be separate on the power rankings. From that might have been why I did that. Do, do, do. Huh? This is, uh, I forgot. Oh, yeah? Whose theme were you singing? I forgot the lyrics. That's, that's Shawn Michaels. I'm just a sexy boy. I'm not your boy toy. Do. Do 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 I don't know. I have to hear it again. That's bad. Yo, that was crazy close and crazy actually uh, on par there. You know, I think you might need to give up this GM mode gig and, uh, <laughs> you know, you just make some theme songs, Mo. I think that yeah, might I'll be do, your thing. I'll do, uh, do, uh, I'll do every theme from here on out. Oh, well, I guess it's the end of the show, so I can't. Month. This is the last theme to play, as a matter of fact. Uh, do, <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, there we go. I'll hey, do the uh, whoever wins. Whoever wins. I was going to say, whoever wins, do that theme. There you go. There you go. Well, this is your SmackDown main event of the evening. The Undertaker, your World Heavyweight Champion, teaming with Kurt Angle to take on D-Generation X, Triple H, and Shawn Michaels. Uh, we've already heard the T-shirt shirt a little bit. The t I almost said T-shirt shirt sales. The T-shirt sales, Mo. T-shirt sales aside, numbers aside, businessman aside, who do you have winning tonight? Oh, man, this is so hard because I don't play favorites because I just don't care about wrestling. But oh, okay, Mr. Businessman. Um, let me let me ask my kids. Hold on. Hey, shit. Who you in? <laughs> he really likes the DX guys. Oh, so you have DX. I mean, yeah. as much as I, as much as I'm proud of our world heavyweight champion, the Undertaker, and as much as I love Kurt Angle for winning us the the number one draft pick for the Blue Brand, I don't know. I feel like the the cohesion between Triple H and Shawn Michaels, uh, it might be enough to topple the world heavyweight champion and the Olympic gold medalist. We have a team of gold bearers and a team of degenerates, but still one hell of a sidewalk slam from the Undertaker to Triple H. Four of the industry's best in the ring right now. Yeah, this is a bunch of legends. Literally, you have a bunch of legends right now. Basically. <laughs> hey, is there anyone like, in the ring right now you'd be willing to trade for Batista? No. No? Maybe... Maybe Too Trips. Late. Maybe maybe Trips. No, it's not gold. Trips. No, no, no I'd like to trips. draft Triple H's shovel. <laughs> <laughs> I think you already have. I think you already have. <laughs> Cena's getting plenty buried <laughs> over on Monday Night Raw. Triple H, though, with feeling a little bit of fatigue of the matchup, you're not going to go up against a super heavyweight like The Undertaker and not feel something, but he's very close to a finisher. Very close to a finisher. Now, we know how these tag team matchups go. I'm 
fully expecting one hell of a slobber knocker tonight. Hmm. I mean, look, there's champion. There's a champion and Kurt Angle on one side, and then there's a tag team on one side. By pure strength in singles, Undertaker and Kurt Angle should win. But because Triple H, because DX is a thing, I'm thinking they win. But I don't know. Triple H likes to just do his own thing sometimes. Well, Triple H is feeling the effects of this matchup. Those right hands from the Undertaker. Taker tagging out. He is going to save that momentum he has. Almost got a finisher built up. But Kurt is feeling ruthless after last week's near victory. Kurt and Triple H are the legal men in the ring right now. Triple H has been... De he's been demolished, dude. Well, I see here as Kurt Angle and Triple H in the ring now. A lot of history. In another these timeline, two. these guys uh, went to a last man standing. Well, no, this is not last man standing. It was an Iron Man with 17 pins. <laughs> in an alternate universe, it was 18 to 17. <laughs> Insane. Kurt Angle wrestling free. Look at this hold. Look at this hold Kurt Angle has. That's so that looks so painful. A rope break. Whoa, chill out, chill out, chill out. Shawn chill Michaels out. attempting to protect his teammate there. Referee Nick Patrick focusing on the dead man. Triple H definitely feeling the effects of this matchup tonight so far. Uh, it's Nick so Patrick, weird seeing can all we, these guys on SmackDown. Can we get Shawn Michaels out of the ring, please? He has a sharpshooter currently on Kurt Angle. Shawn Michaels is not the legal man right now. But he's just wrenching the back of Kurt Angle. Triple H with that high knee as well. With the condition that Triple H is in, it's smart that he makes that tag. Finally. There. It is smart that he makes that tag there. Ref, what's going on? What actually is going on here, Ref? What actually is going on here? This is this is the cohesion we mentioned, how DX knows how to handle these tag matches. Keeping Kurt Angle on their side of the ring. Making sure Undertaker doesn't get a chance to help out his teammate. Kurt Angle firing back with a chop of his own. I just have to say, you can only see legends like this on Friday Night Smackdown. Monday Night Raw, it's an alright show. You know, Jillian Hall does her thing from time to Jillian time. Jillian Hall. <laughs> we have legendary <laughs> woman. You do only see Kurt Angle, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, and Triple H on Friday Night SmackDown. Look, on the on the face, this looks like OP as heck, but it's not because their pops are really, really weird. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. We have a uh, band maneuver there from Shawn Michaels onto Kurt Angle. Shawn Michaels actually didn't even notice he's very close to a finisher. Another Kurt actually is like swift as frick. Like these holds are swift. He didn't win an Olympic gold medal for nothing. Sean realizing he doesn't want any of that. Tagging Triple H back in. Shawn Michaels though. Currently working over the ribs of Kurt Angle. No 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 with a fall away side outside the ring! Shawn Michaels is not the legal man! He doesn't have a finisher built up now, though. Referee Nick Patrick, what's going on here? What's going on here? Now we have DX on the outside of the ring. Look at this tag team. Oh, HBK Currently with the working over music. Kurt Angle on the outside of the ring. Undertaker finally making his way over there to assist his tag partner. He's ready to hit Sweet Chin Music, by the way. As all chaos breaks out here outside the ring. Triple H and Kurt Angle are the legal men in the ring. And as Moneybags Mo did point out, uh, HBK does in fact have a Sweet Chin Music lined up. As Triple H goes for that spear, Kurt Angle sidesteps it. Kurt Angle desperately needs to make a tag to the World Heavyweight Champion, The Undertaker. 
And that takedown from Triple H. Triple H nearing a pedigree. A pedigree could put this one away. And now as the cross face is applied, Triple H has built up enough momentum for a pedigree. Imagine getting pedigreed and switch in music. Oh my god. Now referee Nick Patrick dealing with The Undertaker as DX has their way with Kurt Angle in the corner here. HBK is not the legal man as Triple H lands the pedigree on Kurt Angle in the corner. Is this it? Is this actually it? Can The Undertaker get in and save this Look matchup? How dead Kurt Angle is. Look at his finisher meter. Kurt nope, Angle cut. actually being saved by his tag team partner here. Angle desperately needs to make a tag at this point if they have any hope of winning this matchup. And now, as Reverend Nick Patrick is dealing with The Undertaker, Sweet Chin, Sweet Chin music. music busts open the Olympic gold medalist. Kurt still has some fight left in him. Kurt is busted open, by the way. Busted wide open, finisher meter at rock bottom. HBK almost has another Sweet Chin Music built up, but Kurt still but has some still fight in him. do that. With a belly-to-belly. Belly. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I chose Kurt Angle to be our representative for the blue brand. This is why Kurt Angle won us the first seed draft pick right here. I want to see an Olympic slam. Kurt needs to make a tag. This time, a spear landing in the spear. corner. Triple H re relentless with those kicks. Kurt he's running needs to make a he's tag. He's getting him. He's he getting. He's just, make watch, a tag. he's just watching. He's just watching. He's just. He said. Oh. Triple H just barely missing the chance there. Poking Taker in the eyes as referee Nick Patrick is busy with Kurt Angle, raking the eyes of Undertaker as well. Another poke to the eyes. Taker needs to be the difference maker in this matchup right now. And Triple He's H, can very, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Taker, Taker, what oh are we doing here? Oh my God. I guess Taker has the belt and doesn't care. Leaving Kurt Angle to D-Generation X as the crowd is chanting, we want Michaels. Triple H really wants to get out, by the way. Like, really wants to get out. Sleeper applied to Kurt Angle in the middle of the ring. It wouldn't be a bad idea for Triple H to make a tag right now. Kurt Angle reversing. My boy. Kurt Angle really feeling the effects of this matchup here. Look at him. As Triple H makes the tag. And HBK is fully healthy, by the way. And here we go. Kurt Angle hoisting HBK up for a Fireman fireman's can. carry. Kurt making the tag. Finally. And now we see The Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. The two legal men in the ring. It's WrestleMania all over again. Is that oh, one hell oh. of a hip toss from Shawn Michaels. And Taker sits up. And a huge Irish whip tossing Michael out. out of the ring. Get the fuck out. My goodness. What's going on here? Taker now. He's going out of the ring. Resetting the count to chase Michaels outside of the ring. Will we see a victory by count out here tonight? He's just going to beat him out on the outside. He said fuck the ring. Going to town on Michaels right now. As Michaels makes his way back to the ring and tags in Triple H. Referee Nick Patrick still having difficulties keeping this matchup under control. And a huge boot to Triple H. Look at Kurt Angle's fatigue meter. How he's still even standing on the outside of the ring right now is beyond me. As Taker now tags in, Kurt, Kurt is dead, dripping blood all why over is the he, ring. Why is he letting him in? 
This is gonna. This is a throw. I mean, he just uppercutted him. I mean, he has the big gold belt. Does he need to win this matchup? I mean, you're right. You are correct. Oh my god. Oh my god! Carnangle delivering a spear of his own to the corner. Oh Taking a page out of god. Triple H's book. And a, again, another rope break as Kurt is dangerously close to a finishing maneuver of his own. Uh, Shawn Michaels putting an end to that momentum. Shawn dragging his teammate out of harm's way. Look at this. And now, as referee Nick Patrick deals with The Undertaker, the tag team, oh, and Shawn one, Michaels two. keeping The Undertaker. Nope. Kurt Angle kicking out, though. Kurt Angle is... This is a this is a hard situation. It seems Referee like Undertaker Nick doesn't care. Patrick distracted with the Undertaker as D Generation X gets a tag team maneuver off on the Olympic gold medalist. Kurt still having the wherewithal to kick out after all of that. Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle are the legal men in the ring now. Kurt Angle he desperately the needs to make a tag. Undertaker can be the one to turn the ties of this matchup right now. He should. He definitely should. That's a really long tag match. One hell of a main event here on Friday Night SmackDown. Scoop slam from Shawn Michaels as he knows to get the hell out of there. Nobody wants to be in the ring as Taker sits up and faces Triple H. I think this might be it. Huge GDT. From the World Heavyweight Champion. Is that enough to put Triple H away? And we have a submission. Mm. No tap for sure. Look at that. Oh, it does just... Undertaker has a finisher. But he's knocked over. Taker's built up a finisher as Kurt gets a little extra damage in on those legs. He saves oh, it! He saves it as he reverses Shawn Michaels with a hip toss of his own. Will he hit it on trips? Oh my goodness. Triple H reversing. He needs to keep distance between himself and the World Heavyweight Champion right now. Because a simple reversal could spell the end of it all. Oh, tag team maneuver maybe? No. Just punches to the face. The champion took no damage and has not been in this fight for very long. Just want to point that out. Interesting choice. Very out of character. Taker collapses in the ring. Oh, jeez. Triple H controlling the pacing of this matchup. As we pass the 15 minute mark. Oh my goodness. At this moment, at this matchup could go either way. Taker sits up again. Will we see one of them taking the last ride? Oh, yes. he's going for it. No, Shawn Michaels reversal. reverses. He reverses the tombstone attempt. Will we see the champion tap? As a rope, rope break, break breaks up that submission hold. Wow. As all on. four men are in the ring now, Shawn Michaels with a roll up, Kurt Angle breaking up as Nick Patrick is distracted by Triple H. Nick Patrick is struggling to keep control of this explosive situation now. Huge boot to Shawn Michaels. It is so difficult for any of these men to keep a finisher. We have seen a pedigree and a sweet chin music to Kurt Angle, but Kurt Angle's not the legal man right now. Taker, I think, does in fact have Shawn Michaels' number. Shawn Michaels did have an impressive, a very impressive tombstone counter. My boy Taker? I don't know. He, he's he's thrown early and it's, it's biting him in the ass now. Kurt now delivering a stiff right arm to the legal HBK. Taker now bringing it his all as we see a huge sidewalk slam to Shawn Michaels. Will this be enough? It is enough to build up another finisher. HBK now 
feeling the effects of this matchup. As we see a huge boot, the crowd is going wild for finisher. the Undertaker. He has a finisher. The crowd is going Reversal. wild for the Undertaker right now. He's got, he's got it. He can hit it. The crowd is losing their minds as Taker grinds that forearm across Shawn Michaels' face. And a straight pinfall attempt. Triple H getting in the ring, breaking that up. I don't think we're going to see a pinfall here tonight without a finisher. Kurt? Kurt working over Sean again. Triple H working over Taker. Oh my oh, god, man. look at that tap out meter. But Kurt Angle is not the legal man in this matchup right now. He's if not he the a, legal man. If he hits a finisher on HBK and Triple H is fricked, then I could see it being endgame there, but... I mean, all four members of this matchup are really feeling it as we're approaching the 20 minute mark. Hey, Triple H is far from the ring. It could happen. Taker needs to get up and hit this. stamina as well. As Kurt Angle tosses Shawn Michaels outside of the he, ring. But, but why? Triple H is now just getting his stamina back. What are you doing? I think uh, Kurt wants some one-on-one -on -one time with Sean outside the ring. <laughs> Both uh, DX members on him. As we see oh. another tag team maneuver. Oh my god. On The Undertaker this time. As Sean heads to the top rope. Top rope. Undertaker gets up. Just knocks him back down, dude. HBK with the finisher built up now. My boy. Uh, will we see it? Will we see it? As Taker's reversing the attempt here. HPK saves that finisher as he's attempting to make a tag out to Triple H. At this point, it doesn't matter who's in the ring. A pinfall could happen at any moment on any member. Of either team. Hit your finisher. Hit your finisher. God, will, tag matches will in take this game. Her, will take her get the chance to hit that finisher, though. Because Triple H is very close to hitting a finisher as well. He has Max Stam, too. <laughs> we thought Kurt Angle was in a bad way. Angle is bleeding right now. Oh, my goodness. Triple H now has a finisher. Both members of DX have finishers oh built up. Oh, my God. Both members of DX have finishers built up. Will they Staring be used each other down? Triple H, why did you save that? Wait, Triple what? H has not saved Taker it yet. can't tap. He can't tap. He just tapped. Taker cannot tap. HBK is not the legal man in the ring. He just tapped, though. Wow. He's not the legal man. Triple H did lose his finisher as Krenigle applied that fireman's carry to him. The two legal men are in the ring right now. Again, Triple H lost his finisher. Taker still has his. This is one hell of a matchup. Passing the 20-minute mark with four of WWE Free's best. Four Friday Night SmackDown's best. Oh, Taker oh! dodging that spear attempt. Tag him in. Just tag him in. Tag him in. Or not. Taker not He's going not. for the tag. Somebody needs to capitalize right now. The, like, Triple H is out of oh it. Oh my god, he waited for him. Triple H is out of it right now, dang. Oh my goodness. Kurt Angle at one point was the heavily, most heavily injured me member of this match. Now he is uh, rested Low up. Low blow. I mean, at this point, Triple H and HGK need to do whatever they need to to walk out of here with a victory. Triple H, Undertaker reversing. reversing. There reversing. we go. There we go. As it'll we be see, on their side. Triple H hoisted up. Can Kurt it'll Angle be, stop Shawn Michaels it'll from be making? On their side. They have favor. They Can have we the see it? Can we? Oh, it's a rope no, break. No break. Just barely gets his feet on the rope. Kurt Angle did, in fact, stop Michaels from breaking at that pinfall. But Triple H with the wherewithal to get his feet on the rope. That's insane. That's insane. This is a pay-per-view quality matchup right now. And we have a small package. Roll up. Roll up. 
as uh, Michaels is distracted referee one, Nick Patrick. One, two, and we have three. the pinfall! Oh my goodness, as Taker and Angle walk out as Victor. With a roll up. It doesn't matter. It did not matter. Michaels' interference did not matter. Kurt Angle getting referee Nick Patrick's attention to count the pinfall. Let's talk about insanity. Let's talk about insanity for just a moment. Taker walking out of here with the pinfall victory. Kurt Angle being uh, the professional that he is, the Olympic gold medalist that he is, to put his uh, differences aside and walk out of here with a W tonight. You got to think, D-Generation X, not happy. Not happy, especially after busting open the Olympic gold medalist. I think next week's Friday Night Smackdown will indeed have quite a few, quite a few surprises, to say the very least. Well, we will catch you all tomorrow for the results of this week's Dang. Uh, this week's programming. If you guys enjoyed and want to show your support, hit that like button down below for us. And check out most channel link in the description below. And we'll catch you guys next time. Until then, we're Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye. See ya.